Hey, welcome back to another SJ Games Live. I'm Hunter, and I'm here to unbox a few Munchkin collectible card game booster packs. This is a fresh, minty fresh, brand new box. This is final product. This is actual from the line, from the factory, real stuff. We had it shipped in a little bit early. Uh, I'm going to open four packs from this box. We're going to crack open the box and then uh, open a few packs from this one. We're going to kind of open uh, more packs over the course of the next few weeks. We're going to keep checking back in, open a few more packs until we go through this whole box. And I'm going to be giving away some stuff at the end, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, watch for the instructions at the end. Uh, but let's go ahead and put it over here and open it up. So fortunately, I brought my trusty pocket knife. Very dull blade. Don't try this at home. That should give it enough to reach in. And there we go. There we go. It's really cool opening a actual booster pack, a uh, booster box. I've only been able to open uh, packs in the past. Ooh, okay. That's very tight. Very sturdy though. Oh, okay. See, there's some cardboard in here too. Interesting. Oh, I think it's attached to the bottom. There we go. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, cool. There's. A oh, I see. So we have these cardboard inserts in there, which a little bit weird for booster boxes, but the reason we have that is because it comes with a little preview of our uh, Goldfish Wanderer. This is the card that comes with our OP kits for all people that want to participate in the draft. So. Uh, it actually comes with a little OP kit uh, preview and a little insert to tell stores how to sign up for that. That's really cool. We'll set a, we'll leave the Goldfish Wander on. He's part of the box. And we'll do the, the old fold it. We got some more art there. The moose. I've used that card before. And uh, we'll do four packs. So let's do these top four here. We'll set that over aside. Okay. I'm getting good vibes off of these. Let's see. Let's start with this one. Veteran CCG players might know that there are some tricks and things like that to how you open packs. I don't know the tricks to these yet, like putting the rare to the back or something like that. Um, so we're just going to open it like normal. So let's see, we got Can't Touch This. It's a uh, Bard Mischief. Move one damage from your hero to target stashed monster with Encore so you get it back. Mugsy Sap. Mugsy is giant in this one. Wow. Uh, Mugsy is a, a monster. We got a. This is a loot card, though. A two star loot card. Smack. Uh, so that means it can. You can zap it to do damage directly to an opponent or monster. Skewer. Oh, this is a fun one. It's a three gold attachment. Uh, curse. The Mischief Curse. It attaches to the opponent. I keep saying attachment. Attachment's not what they're called. They're curses uh, in this case. And it's deal one damage to target hero and stick this to target hero. So you stick it and that means you kind of put it on that hero and it has bleeding. That means uh, during the wrecking step that hero is going to take damage. Uh, it's a classic chainsaw blade dismemberment. It's a real good one. Just a kind of a vanilla attachment there. Woodlands workout and a location for the ranger. Uh, it looks like these are all commons. So that's good. I think these the pack may actually just be in order. That's pretty nice. Walking dreads. Uh, one of my favorites. Dr. Meow practice. He's a cleric ally. Uh, he can uh, you can use his ability when, he, when you're healed, so he zaps to deal damage to an opponent. Spin Kick. Now, that's a really cool damage spell. Deal 4 damage divide any way you choose between a target hired monster and its controller. We've used that quite effectively in uh, draft. Silent but Deadly. It's our first uncommon. You'll see down here at the bottom they have different letters. You might not be able to see them in the stream, but I'll call it out as we see them. Uh, squish target uh, card stuck to your hero or to your loot. Then target opponent takes the damage. So that card earlier that we looked at... Uh, Skewer, you could you could uh, squish that card, get rid of it. Spiky bit, stick this to target weapon. That weapon gains uh, one power, so that's cool. That makes your weapons a little stronger, and uh, it costs zero. One more uncommon, Cutlass of Cloney. Pay one uh, gold to unzap target weapon. Oh, that's really cool. That's uh, so it's a weapon that can unzap itself, or unzap other ones. And we got Bling Beastie, which was actually smart on the uh, card or on the uh, box there. This is a thief monster so that purple background indicates it's a thief uh, card I should I should have been calling this out sorry guys uh, so this is a three cost monster with a three power and two health 
or two life. Uh, you may squish a target loot that you control. If you do, this gains, oh wow, two for four power. So if you uh, squish, say if you had the uh, Cutlass of Cloning here, and you squished it and got rid of it, you'd gain two more power. So that can be very strong. That's really cool. So we got Bling Beastie. That's our rare from that pack. Let's go to another pack here. Uh, I can't get the, can't get my clean tear. I think the hands are a little too uh, slick from the warm room that we're in here. Okay, so we're starting off with another thief card, the uh, Am Scray. Play when checking the mischief card treachery. Play when checking for cheating. Reduce the power of target monster to zero for this fight. Wow, that's really good. Okay, cool. I like that. It costs two. A little pricey, but it's not bad. Uh, Barbarian, the librarian. When you squish a monster contro uh, controlled by your opponent, draw a card. So he's, a, he's an ally. He's a neutral card. You can see, tell by that gray background. Uh, Plea Bargain, the yellow. Uh, that's a cleric card. Another Mischief Chef Treachery. Uh, it costs X. That means you can pay X amount. That's any amount of gold. And X equals amount of gold you paid. Look at the top X cards of your deck. Move one of those cards to your hand and move the rest to your discard pile. So essentially you get to search the top X cards. So if I paid five gold for this, I could search the top five cards. Put one into my hand and move the rest of my discard. Another cleric card. This is a loot. Uh, it's a two-cost loot, but it doesn't have a uh, power defense. It's just zap, you heal one. So it's a constant heal, which is cool. Uh, Irresistible Disco. This is a bard card. Uh, we got a uh, Mischief Treachery. It's a two-cost. Zap or unzap target looter ally, so you can reuse some of your loot or allies. And it's got on car, so uh, on core, excuse me. So it goes to your stash instead of discarding. Got another bard card. Draw a card and discard a card. Cost one. Pretty simple, has Encore as well. Uh, another common here, the Hydrax uh, Warrior card, uh, red, upgrade, costs two, or not, not doesn't cost two, it is a two star, so that means you need to be level two. Uh, zero power, one defense, so it blocks one. Zero power seems weird, but it has an ability called Collect One, which means when you gain a level, collect one, you take a token from your stockpile and put it on this card, and for each token on it, you get uh, you get the strength, essentially. So it goes up in power as the uh, game goes on when you gain levels. Uh, that was a common. This is another common. Disappearing Act costs two. Move target ally or target loot to its owner's hand. Wow, that's really cool. Nice little bounce spell. Brass Kicker. Okay, so here we go. It's our first uncommon in this pack. It's a, uh, that last one was a wizard card. This is a bard card. A three star orange uh, loot. So that's a bard loot. I uh, got two strength, three defense. When this damages a monster in a fight, the attacker must spill one. That means they have to move the top two cards of their deck to their discard pile. So you can lose the game by not having cards left in your deck when you have to draw. So that is one way of trying to accelerate the end. Oh, we got Smug the Dragon. He's one of my favorites. Uh, oh, it's actually a, a common there. So I guess the uncommon and commons were a little bit out of order on that one. Uh, so Smug is a wizard uh, monster. Reduces the damage of each committed weapon deal uh, that each committed uh, weapon deals to this monster by one. So he's a four cost, four power, and only three health, but he does reduce the damage that weapons deal to him, or, uh, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, so this is a this is one of the randomly inserted uh, special rarities. This is a full art card, so this is Squirrel. Uh, you'll notice they look a little bit different. They don't have the full text box there. It's actually, uh, it actually gives a little more room for the art. Uh, this one has Flaunt. Reveal this card from your hand to use the ability. A target hired monster named Moose gets three power. So you can make the Moose stronger. And then our actual rare is Spellception. It's a wizard uh, mischief. Look through your deck. It costs one. Uh, look through your deck and choose a treachery card. Reveal it. Move it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So it's a bit of a uh, mischief tutor, if you will. So that's really cool. Actually, it's a really, really cool card. I like tutors in card games, so that'll be awesome. I'm a huge fan of the wizard. You can search up your... Uh, really strong mischief spells or treachery spells and pull them in your hand for pretty low cost. Let's go to another pack here. Oh, that one almost got it. There we go. Uh, the Holy Roller. Cleric common. Uh, loot, four star loot. If this damages a hired monster, collect one. Uh, so that's again, I mentioned collecting early, you just put a token. So this one does it when they uh, damage a higher monster and it gains a power for each uh, collected token. So that's a really strong one. Uh, another Barbarian Librarian. Another Irresistible Disco. That's a barred one. Biodegradable Armor. So this is a loot armor, one star. And you can zap it to prevent up to three damage to your hero, then squish it. So essentially it's a one time use armor. Kind of cheaply made, uh, but it's a great ranger armor for cheap. Bod E Guard. Uh, you have uh, a one-cost ally. He's a neutral card. 
When does the squish, you may squish any card stuck to your hero card. Another way of clearing some stuff off of your hero that's built up. Crusty Disgusting. You guys might have uh, seen this if you've seen me play the starter decks. He is a really strong little three drop. Costs three, uh, four power, and two health. When this deals damage to the defender in a fight, it also deals one damage to each monster in the defender's stash. So even monsters in the stash won't be safe. Stabity Stab. Costs one. It's a thief mischief card. Play this when the defender runs away. Deal two damage to the defender. So that's awesome. It punishes them even worse. They can't get away from your fight. Oh, cool. This is... Okay, so this is really cool. Uh, oh, man. Uh, I didn't expect to get one of these. So this is another randomly inserted card. Uh, it's a Dwarf Cleric, which sounds kind of normal because Dwarf Cleric is just one of the heroes. However, this is alternate art for the Dwarf Cleric. The Dwarf Cleric in the game, in the main game, I believe is Tom Seidel. These are all redrawn art by uh, John Kabalik. He did a different version of each of the heroes. So that's really, really cool. I dig that a lot. So that is new Kabalik art there. Uh, location, this is the Uncommons. Uh, during each hero's reckoning step, all heroes spill one. So that's another, again, uh, it hurts both players. But if you've planned around this card, you can spill your opponent probably before you spill yourself. Uh, no, this is another common. We've got a uh, Chunky Flunky. A... Uh, Big, big chunky ally for the thief. One one cost, five health. But you can't commit this to a fight unless you pay one gold. So that means he'll only work for a cost. So that's that, it, that makes it even, I guess. That, that makes sense why it's so big. Liar's Dice. So he's a zero, uh, zero uh, star. So you can play it on your hero even at level whatever you want to play it on. It's a loot. Uh, neutral card. Use this when a hero's roll a die. Zap. The hero must ignore the die result and re-roll. This is interrupt. So that you, that means you could re-roll a die result you did or one of your opponents. Ah, and speaking of dice, we've got Even Steven. Uh, this is a six-drop monster, neutral card, and its effect is roll a die. So when you reveal this card, after you've uh, revealed it, you roll a die. On a one, three, and five, you take a damage. So that means the person playing the card, which is not good. On a two, four, six, this card gains plus one power. So essentially, it would go to a seven power. Uh, so you could use that Liar's Dice, re-roll that. How about that for a thematic pack? That's really cool. So we got the Even Steven. And let's do one more pack here. We might start seeing some duplicates, but there are over uh, just over 300 cards in the, in, in the base set, so there are tons of cards in here. Hopefully we don't see too many duplicates. But we do see one to start off. So we got 99 bottles. We did see that a little bit earlier. Oh, but here we go. Uh, Bard... Uh, bard mischief called trombone uh, stick this to a target hero card that hero takes one damage when the hero card is zapped so if they use that uh, hero ability they'll start taking damage thwack this is a warrior uh, mischief two cost zap a weapon you control deal damage equal to that weapon uh, power to any target so that's really good that can do quite a bit of damage crash and burn is a wizard's mischief so this is a treachery so you can search it up with that card we got earlier spellception uh, deal two damage to target stashed monster and you can give blood, which means when you play it, you can take that much damage, so in this case two, and remove that monster from the game instead. So that's really cool. So for two cost and possibly two life, you can just completely remove a monster. Uh, Bodyguard, we saw him a little bit earlier. Ferris Oxide Monster, another really good one from the starter sets as well. It costs two. Uh, two power and one health, but at the end of the fight, squish target committed weapons. So that means you can bait out some really good weapons and take them out with this weak monster. Grody Roadies, this is a bard monster card cost two three power three health so it's low cost for higher power and high health but it's zap target unzap loot you control so you have to zap your own loot to use them hey and that's cool we got a trombone earlier in the pack and this is another full art card another insert rarity x rarity uh so we saw that one earlier just so you can compare it directly that's what the full art looks like compared to the regular art so you can see a little bit more of it gets a little bit bigger that's really cool uh hillbilly ogre <laughs> that's pretty straightforward a uh, six cost neutral monster. If the defender is bleeding, reduce the cost, uh, gold cost by two. So it can even be cheaper. So it could be a four drop for five five. That's really, really good, actually. Uh, so some of those cards we saw earlier that make your opponent bleed might be good in those type of decks. As an uncommon. This is another uncommon. Coin elemental. Three cost wizard uh, monster. Flip this, uh, flip this card like a coin from the height of at least one meter above the game area. If it lands face up, deal one damage to any target. If it lands face down take one damage so it's a three power four health so that's really fun uh we have lots of cards in this uh game that are goofy effects fun stuff that you can do at the table uh so this is one of those types of cards you have to be a little dex dexterous with that 
Whoa, another uh, wizard card in one of my favorite classes. Mischief, Treachery, Reign of Death, two cost. Deal one damage to all heroes, allies, and stash monsters, so it can kind of clear the board of cheap stuff. That's really cool. And our rare. Oh, boy. That's a tough one. Fizz Bandantelminster. <laughs> He's an ally, a one cost neutral ally, uh, and you use his ability when playing a mischief. Zap, deal one damage to all allies and monsters. This is an interrupt, so that's really cool. He can do another board clearing effect. Might be good with that uh, wizard card there. But uh, that's, uh, that is our boosters. Those are all of our boosters. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing, that pack opening. Like I said, we're going to be going through a few more of these packs every week. Go through some more stuff. There's, I believe there's 24 in that box. I believe there's 24 in there. And uh, we'll be opening four next week again. And uh, you can go through there. Now, I mentioned a contest earlier. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give away one of the packs, uh, all the contents of one of these packs, to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is like our Munchkin Collectible Card Game Facebook page and comment below with which one of these cards you thought was the coolest. Was it the alternate art cleric card from John Kavalik? Was it one of the full art cards? Maybe it was just one of the rares, or maybe it was just something else you saw that you really liked. So just comment below with what your favorite is. And I will be randomly picking one next week. Uh, the actual time when it's closing is all in the description. Just check that out. Uh, I believe we set that to end on Monday at midnight. Uh, some other quick things. Make sure to check us out at PAX South if you're in San Antonio next weekend. We are going to be hosting Learn to Play events. We'll also be demoing at our booth. And we'll have a tournament on Saturday. Uh, they're all first come, first serve, so you need to sign up in the Tabletop HQ area. If you are there, check that out pretty early in the morning, and you might be able to get a seat for those. Uh, there will be product for players of those uh, events, so definitely check those out. Uh, you'll get a first crack at getting like starters and things like that. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be, of course, if you don't get in one of those events, just swing by booth 104, and we'll be demoing the game there as well. So you'll get a chance to check it out in your hands one way or the other. We'll definitely be happy to show it to you. Uh, also, we'll be releasing pretty soon a release of uh, or list of all the pre-release locations, uh, stores around the country that are going to be running those. We'll have staff on hand as well. Uh, that list will be coming out, I believe, on Monday, so keep an eye out for that. And, uh, guys, check out our website, munchkinccg.game, for all the up-to-date strategy articles and brand-new uh, tactics and interviews coming up with a lot of the artists, developers, and designers. We just posted an article about how to play with or against the Orc Bard, uh, so you can check that out there. Uh, that was just posted over the holidays. Guys, thank you for joining me for this SJ Games Live. We'll uh, tune in next time for even more Munchkin CCG goodness. I'll see you next time.